Today is Monday and today marks two weeks that Luca is recovering at the hospital. The past few days were tough. There were a lot of ups and downs. Um, Luca is always very positive, but sometimes, you know, it's human to feel a little bit blue, a little bit down. Yesterday, I went for the first time back to Lucky Land and opened the house and I check everything, I clean everything. And then we went to eat something all together with the, the nonne and nonno, Claudio. And then I went to visit Luca. And I'm back at Lucky Land after two weeks. Today is Sunday and I decided to come here with my mom and Luce. I need some stuff from here. I am a little bit worried because entering the house will be difficult, but I have to do it. Everything is still as I left two weeks ago. It's very hard to be inside here, guys. I started shaking before opening the door because everything is still so real. Everything is, it is real, but it's still too early probably for me to get rid of the fear and get rid of that night. I still need to process it. I will need some time. But now with my mom, I will change the sheet. I will clean everything. I will open the window. I will let the fresh air of the mountains come inside the house. I will check that everything is okay. I will bring some clothes uh, to Luca and I will take something for Luce and then we'll go back. Everything is clean, sheets are changed. Now I have to take this with me. I will close everything. Now I have to close the van that it's open. The van is here. Everything is good. Okay, just need some socks. Okay, everything is loaded. I also will bring the high chair, Lucha's high chair, with us. Mom is coming. I will close everything and then we'll go back to Torino because we have to go to visit Luca. Daddy! Bye bye, Lucky Land. We'll see you soon. Now we are eating at the restaurant with the nonni, nonna Bruna, nonna Claudio, nonna Laura, some sushi. Today is a very important day because they did another myelography to Luca, so another test because on Thursday they couldn't find the source of the leak or the leaks. So they repeated the same exam this morning. So now I'm going back to the hospital. I hope that I can speak with some doctors and I can speak with Luca. I already spoke with him. He was a little bit still sleepy. We will see you at the hospital so we can talk directly with Luca. We have good news. Uh, basically, they think they found uh, the little hole in my spine uh, where I'm losing uh, this uh, liquid uh, that is called uh, liquor. So basically, the day after tomorrow, Wednesday, 
they will be doing a procedure that is called patch where they will be closing uh, this hole so I will no longer have a leaking in my spine and uh, I will be one step closer to getting out of the hospital, to getting back to walk, uh, to getting back to my little Luce, my little baby girl and uh, my wife. Uh, so I'm so grateful, I'm so happy, I'm so pumped uh, and thank you everybody for the prayers, uh, the good energy, the messages, uh, everything. Your support, uh, I really, really, really feel your support. Uh, this is real love. Uh, this is true love. Uh, nel bene e com'è che è nel nel bene nella buona nella cattiva sorte come si dice in inglese in the good times and the bad times I don't know so today we received a very good news is it's something so they are not 100% sure they have found the source of the leak but they have found something so on Wednesday they will do the blood patch and we can't wait to see the result so if you are new here and you haven't followed the past episodes uh, luca had three cerebral strokes and now is recovering at the hospital at the stroke unit at the hospital in torino and what they are thinking it is they are still studying his case because it's pretty rare is that he has a cfs leak somewhere in the spine and the hypotension has caused uh, the um, cerebral venous thrombosis. They have to find first the source of the leak and then they have to cure the leak and then with this uh, Luca can at least try to sit and to stand up because the main problem of Luca's case is a headache. He needs to lay down and to stay uh, in the bed so even before the strokes he was really in pain two weeks and so we have to think step by step it's tough we are doing it so we are doing it luce our seven months old baby girl is doing fine i have the support of our families i have the two nonnas here my mom and luca's mom and then i have nonno claudio also helping and taking care of Luce while I'm not while I'm at the hospital. So I'm running back and forth to the hospital every day to stay with Luca. But of course, I have to think also about Luce, and I'm doing my best. She is our joy. She is our joy. <coughs> Say ciao. <laughs> okay, guys, we will see you tomorrow. Ba 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 da da da. I love you, Daddy. Good morning guys, I just arrived at the hospital, it's Tuesday, today I'm going to visit Luca and I'm very excited because we are looking forward to for tomorrow, we can't wait, I can't wait, this is the first step, I can see the light at the end of the tunnel, so this is a good news, I would like to answer to many of your comments saying that I'm a hero and I just want to say that I am not a hero like the doctors are heroes the medical personnel they are heroes the caregivers that are doing this every day they are heroes they have all my respect really I'm just a wife I'm a mom and I would do anything for my family I'm not doing anything special right now uh, of course I would lie if I tell you that it's easy, that everything is okay. Uh, I'm exhausted, I'm really tired. Sometimes I cry. Um, it's not easy to divide myself 
between Luca and Luce because you know Luce is seven months old and Luca needs me right now more than ever sometimes I'm in a survival mood but I cannot describe how I feel every day when I wake up and I know that Luca is alive that is improving that is recovering that is an hospital where they are trying to understand what's going on how we need to cure everything how we need to cure the situation i'm so grateful i'm so happy every day that all the negative thoughts all the fear just disappear because i'm grateful life is truly a gift i know that we are repeating in every video the same but it's really important this message because you know our channel is called leave everything in wonder and everything started because we want to travel and to leave the certainties and the security of everyday life our jobs and start traveling and start exploring but we always said that this is just a motto and you can apply this in your life if you are not happy about your job if you're not happy about your relationship if you're not happy about what you're doing in your life and so this new chapter of our lives is again leave everything in wonder leave everything that was before and start again a new life uh, with new obstacles with new challenges but you know we are ready for this. We are ready for this and we hope to inspire someone else that is fighting and that is living something similar. I know that this video are not well edited, but even your concern about me filming every day, it's very therapeutic for me. It's very healthy for me to keep filming because this is our job, this is my job and I really enjoy filming for you and give you updates, even if I know the videos are not the best ones but they are real and I want to show you the real life we promise you since the beginnings to show you the ups and downs the good moments and the less good moments in our lives and so this is one of these moments where I think that the reality is is it's it's raw it's raw because sometimes I rewatch and I edit the videos and I I see that there are some moments are sad but I think that they are so true and so inspiring that I would like to keep going like this because it's so important for me and for Luca to share these moments of our lives with you and thank you again for your support guys it's so good uh, to feel the the sun on my skin it's over two weeks uh, <laughs> it's incredible how you can enjoy little things like this uh, so much <laughs> this is beautiful it's so good to be alive so good that you are here with us, Amore. You have such beautiful eyes. I can't wait to get out of the hospital and stay under the sun. Just enjoy the sun on my skin. This is beautiful. And I don't know if you can see, but Luca is on the wheelchair. Yes. He's sitting. I'm on the wheelchair. So he is not able to walk. Yes, I will not be able to walk for uh, a bit. Yes. Uh, tomorrow I will be having an operation and after the operation they will be able to tell me how long uh, I will need to wait until I can stand up, uh, I can walk uh, and then I will have uh, a rehabilitation. Uh, but. Uh, one step of the time, one step at the time, one day at the time. Uh, yes. And you know what? It's time right now. It's shower time. But first, <laughs> this is love. You know, when you marry to... <laughs> someone, you marry for the good, for the bad, for the ugly, for the everything. So 
she needs to help me also for number one number two number three number four number five and we got a lot of comments uh, when i was in the shower waving uh, so i will do it again <laughs> hello beautiful people this is the best part of the day shower with my love beautiful And I book an hairdresser that is here in the hospital to just trim Luca's beard. It's relaxing. Okay. Oh, we can see your lips again. Finally, Sara can kiss my lips <laughs> and feel my lips. So, guys, many of you know that I used to race with motorcycles, uh, I used to love uh, extreme sports, uh, adrenaline uh, and uh, unfortunately living that kind of lifestyle I've, saw, I've seen uh, many friends uh, and many people die or end up on a wheelchair or paralyzed uh, and uh, that was one of my biggest fears uh, you know got paralyzed or got on a wheelchair and in my mind uh, I was like uh, okay if I end up on a wheelchair or paralyzed this is the worst scenario and um, it's the end of my life and it's terrible and uh, uh, and actually when I woke up a uh, few weeks ago I was half paralyzed but I could talk uh, I could see I could talk with Sara and I was alive I was the happiest person in the world I was so grateful and so happy just to be alive just to be able to move at least a half of my body now after two weeks I'm able to move basically I cannot walk yet I need to walk I need to you uh, move uh, on a wheelchair but I can move my hands uh, and I'm the happiest person in the world because I know I'm alive I know I will be able to see my daughter grow and be able to share every day and every night of my life with Sara my beautiful wife uh, my hero so life is all about of perspective I mean uh, everything changed for me after this uh, let's say accident uh, but uh, I'm starting to believe that it was a gift because uh, after what happened I can see life uh, in a totally different way so much I'm so much happier I'm so much grateful I'm so much I, I don't know how to explain it I, I still need to think about all of this but I just want to say that it is a gift to be alive and every day it's a gift so guys we are very excited for tomorrow it's the first step as I mentioned before and Luca will do the surgery it's called a blood patch and they will be injecting in the spinal fluid some blood Yes. Lucas blood and another thing that I don't know the name actually. Let's uh, call it glue, kind glue. of glue. And this will see even if you don't see the source of the leak, even if you cannot find it, uh, this kind of liquid will seal the entire uh, spine. Yes, they, so, they actually said that they found uh, 
a little some leak. Yeah. They are not 100% uh, sure, yeah. but they saw something uh, at the beginning, uh, at the end uh, of the cervical. cervical. So up here. Yeah, it was pretty high. Pretty high. Mm -hmm and uh, it was kind of intense uh, to get there because uh, they had to enter with the needles uh, down here in the in the lower back uh, mm -hmm. and get with the needles till up here to search uh, for the hole and so yeah they told that the myelography is more invasive than the surgery itself so luca had two myelography one on last thir Thursday and one yesterday. It was Monday. Monday. Yeah. Sorry, I'm still a bit confused with dates and days. And tomorrow, Wednesday, there will be this this surgery. If everything goes well, like this will for sure help Luca with this the, the, the terrible headache he was suffering. He has been suffering for the past month and he will probably be able to be sitting longer and to start walking it will be long it's not like from one day to another day but at least it's something and we still don't know the cause of the leak because there are many 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 causes and usually this happen in women this happened with women that have done the epidural uh, for birth so Luca is a man and or, or <laughs> people who have uh, genetical problems problems uh, cure with uh, injections yeah. in the spine yes. so but it's not the case uh, because a lot of people ask if to cure the herniated discs you have to do some injections some shots actually mm. yes but not in the spine yes. was uh, was in in the yeah. muscle in the muscles or in another place so could be also for all your accident with motorcycle or probably for the herniated disc, we don't know. Anyways, we need to discover because uh, I want to be sure that it doesn't happen again in the future. Yeah. I want to grow my daughter, I want to live my life with my wife uh, and uh, I want to keep traveling. But yeah. in order to travel and be in places far away from hospitals and whatever, I need to be sure that it's safe. Uh, so okay. I have no rush. Uh, I mean, uh, it's yeah. two weeks uh, that I, I don't see my daughter and it, this is really painful because uh, I want to hug my daughter, I want to smell my daughter, but... You will, baby. You will soon, okay? I promise you. Mm? Uh, but, but this is the hardest, one of the hardest parts of being here. And Lucia cannot enter the hospital in general, not even thinking about entering the stroke unit. Um, but we'll be united very soon. And. The doctors already told us that for one year at least uh, we will not be able to travel off-road or off the beaten path or Luca will not be able to swim alone or to walk alone or to go hike by, by himself. You need to be, you know, we need to be very cautious. Now it's too soon to speak, we don't know yet. Uh, what we know that tomorrow there is this huge, 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 huge step for us, the surgery. And then on Sunday we will give you an update about how everything uh, went uh, tomorrow. Went. So basically you will be seeing this video on Wednesday. Wish me luck. Yeah, we are all with you, baby. Thank you again for your support, for your messages, for your emails. I'm not able to answer to everybody because there are too many messages, but I want you to know that I'm, I'm trying to read as much as possible. I'm trying to read as many messages as possible. And I want you to know that I really appreciate your support and your help. We really appreciate your help and support. Yes, uh, me too. I'm trying to read. Uh, yeah. When I'm not able to sleep during the night, I go through as many messages as I can and, and read. Uh, and I would like to thank uh, very much uh, Trentanelli. I called, I video called them, uh, and uh, I actually cry with them uh, because uh, they, 
I love them so much and also Trey the Globe uh, and also Niki Positano and uh, Carlo. Uh, it, it is amazing uh, to, yeah. to be able to, to talk uh, with people who understand what we feel that uh, this is not just a job uh, but this is a uh, we share our lives uh, and uh, we genuinely love uh, you guys uh, because you are part of our family i genuinely feel the energy that all of you send me and if i'm so positive uh, if I'm so strong right now and I'm overcoming all of this is because uh, of all of your energy as well let's see the progress so when I arrived here this hand was completely paralyzed and I could not feel anything, anything. now as you can see I can move and I can feel I've been doing a rehabilitation so I can feel the texture if I'm touching a, a paper or if I'm touching a, a other kind of t textures I'm so happy also the the doctor he's uh, he's amazing uh, um, yeah everybody here is amazing all the doctors the the nurses uh, uh, every day I, I tell them I tell them thank you you are heroes because they are they are my heroes beautiful people I just want to remember you always uh, that uh, la vita è bella that in Italian it means uh, life is beautiful because life it's really beautiful and uh, please uh, please never forget uh, how lucky we are to be able to to live uh. okay beautiful people we'll see you on sunday we love you and we appreciate you always ciao, ciao.